This is a pretty simple circuit board, but if we put a part on a circuit board as, even as simple as this one in the wrong spot, then this board won't work. So our component placement is pretty important. A lot of the stuff is pretty easy to figure out where it goes, but resistors, other than the colors, all look the same. So we can stick them anywhere we want on that board. And we need to make sure that we put them in the right spot because if we have a resistor of the wrong value in the wrong spot, the board won't work the way it's supposed to. So let's look at these resistors and note that we've got all these nice little colors on them. They're quite pretty. And let's look at this one right here, which has a brown, a black, and a yellow stripe on it. Then figure out what that brown, black, and yellow stripe means. We're going to decode these resistors using a resistor color code guide. So if we consider that brown, black, and yellow that we just saw, we're going to figure out how we come up with a number or a value. So the first band here, whatever color that first band is, we're going to look in that first band column and then the color in that row to determine what the number that we're going to write down is. Second band, same thing. Third band on a four band resistor like this, we're going to come over here to this column right here, which is a decimal multiplier column. Fourth band we're going to talk about towards the end of the video. Let's start with this one that we just looked at that had a brown, black, yellow series of bands. So I look at that and I say, all right, the first band was brown, and that's the number one. Okay, first band, brown, one. I'm going to just write that down. So there it is, the number one. The second band was black, and I come down here, and in that column I see the number zero. So I write that down. The third band was yellow. And for a four band, I'm going to come over here, not into the third band column, but into this decimal multiplier column. And I'm going to come down to yellow, and I'm going to see that that number is 10,000. And I'm going to write that down. Now what this is, is the number 10 times the number 10,000. So the value of that resistor is 100,000 ohms. Now note that I did not multiply the number 1 and the number 0. If I did that, I would have 1 times 0 times 10,000, and that equals 0. So we know that if we do that, that's the wrong method to use. We can't do that. Let's look at a different one. All right, so here I've got this one, which is yellow, violet, and red. Well, you might look at that and think that's blue, but it's really not. That's a blue resistor right there. And that's a different color than this violet that I'm seeing in this yellow, violet, and red. And you'll note that there's two resistors with that color on this board. So let's decode that. So the first band was yellow. So that's the number four. I'll write that down. The second band was violet. That's the number seven. I'll write that down. So that's the number 47. And the third band was red, which is the number 100. Write that down. And that means that I've got a 4,700 ohm resistor. Pretty straightforward. This is not magic by any stretch of the imagination. Now let's take a look at that last band. And on here, all of these have a gold band for the last band. That last band is what's known as a tolerance band. And what it does is it gives us a range for what the value as measured can be for the resistor. So as an example, if I have a 100 ohm resistor and I have a tolerance band that's gold, 
I come down here to gold, I see that's 5%. So it's 100 at 5%. So I multiply 100 times 5% and I come up with the number 5. Now, notice that here it shows plus or minus 5%. So 100 plus 5 equals 105 ohms. 100 minus 5 equals 95 ohms. This range right here is where my measured value has to be. In other words, if I take a meter and I measure that 100 ohm resistor, if it's between 95 and 105 ohms, it's good. But if it was 93 ohms or 107 ohms, it's out of range. And that can impact the way that the circuit works. So that's what the tolerance band is all about. So if I were to take one of these resistors, and let's take this one right here. It's brown, black, brown, gold. <clears throat> First band is brown, that's one. Second band is black, that's zero. The third band is brown, that's my decimal multiplier, that's 10. So it's the number 10 times 10, that equals 100 ohms. And we already calculated the plus or minus five value. So let's just pretend like instead of gold, it was red. I'm going to go plus or minus 2%. So 100 times 2% equals 2. So now I have 100 plus 2 equals 102. 100 minus 2 equals 98. This would be the measured range or the tolerance for that resistor. So that's it. Decoding resistors is really not difficult. Now I do want to point out that we've dealt with these four bands. There are five band resistors out there and we deal with them exactly the same. The difference being is that in a third band resistor now we use this column, the third band column, to get that number and it's our fourth band that becomes the decimal multiplier. The tolerance, first and second band, we treat exactly the same. So very simple, and believe it or not, when you start working with resistors enough, you're gonna get to where you look at a resistor and you're doing this stuff in your head. It's not that hard. Have fun with your circuits.